Hey, what's up, everyone? We are back with our quest to the top 100. This is part four. Uh, we've been on a mad trophy rush for the last about hour or so. We've only used a few amount of gems. Uh, about three times have we had to scroll to stay alive. So 27 gems. And then otherwise, we've been buying food. Uh, food has been getting expensive. It costs, as you're going to see here, a lot of gems to buy food. We've been dominating the gargoyle bases here, showing you how to take these guys out effectively. Uh, the issue is sometimes the gargoyle bases with the R blasters make a pretty deadly combination. So here's 12 trophies. You can see it's costing us 52 gems to buy food. And or we could watch this video, but the video has never worked and has always been glitched. Uh, for me personally, so that does not work. So we have to go ahead and buy food. The last I checked, we were roughly around top um, top 180 right now in the leaderboards. We are using cannons, pyromancers, and mummy. The mummy is level two. The secret to killing the gargoyles. is to actually use your Sonic Blast and your Blaze Storm right as they hit you or have it already ready. And you can see right there we didn't, so we are going to scroll. And I'm finding out that at this stage, it looks like that the... Uh, and you can see we, we our tent is being attacked right there in the top left corner. You can see our tent's life gauge is going down. And that means there are units over there that we didn't kill. So we have to spawn a shitload of Pyromancers to try and take those guys down. Because if the 10 goes down, we lose. And there's no way that we can go back there and attack those guys. So we are going to lose based on that. We have nothing we can do about it. And that's something that we have to kill the wave units before we move forward into the base. And unfortunately, I thought I did. But I did it. Something got through, and our pyromancers back there were not able to take it out. So we lost 39 trophies, and that's the main issue that we've been running into. The last fight that we had, we did, had that exact same setback, and we lost like 30 trophies. So we may be stuck around this 3,600 trophy range. And this looks almost identical to the same base that we just lost to. Uh, the wave composition is a little bit different. The gargoyles are up front. So we'll go ahead and give this one a go. It's getting us 10 trophies. Uh, I prefer actually now that gargoyles are up front because it's easier to kill them. And the R blasters, like I said, can get through and destroy your, ca uh, their, your tent back there, which causes you to lose. So bringing out a mummy there, bring out another mummy. You want to keep distance between yourself and your units for the gargoyles to be less effective. The gargoyles do do splash damage, so you're not always going to be able to kill every gargoyle that comes your way. So some of them will do damage. You have to use your Units, I use the mummy as a as a mule, as a diversion. You can see right there we took a lot of damage. And unfortunately I spawned him at the wrong time, so he took all that damage. Come back here and hopefully take this out with a blade storm. And now we have a healing spot. So we can heal up some. Bring out a couple pyromancers help clean up and we'll bring out a cannon because there's a skull tower back there that is shooting out bombs and the pyromancers don't do very well against the skull towers so you have to know what all your units are good against you have to know what buildings are left back behind because so you do want to try and get 100 percent and the game is lagging a little bit oh shit so you can see the, the gargoyles aren't that deadly if there's only a few of them. If there's like three of them, 
your hero can take the gargoyle damage uh, pretty much no problem. But if there's six of them, you need to kill them. If you don't kill them, that's going to do like half or more damage. And you're going to die. No question about it. You're going to die. So we have mummies up there. The mummies are taking all that damage, helping us out greatly. We come up there now and do our sonic blasts. We're going to come back and get out of the, the rate of fire over here so we can heal up some. And we're saving our Sonic Blast for the Castle Gate, because the Castle Gate is very weak to blunt damage. And we need to do as much damage as we possibly can. Call the troops over here to hopefully kill the Fireball Tower. And then this should get us 100%. One Sonic Blast left, and it takes it down. When they have an, a max level Castle Gate, you need three Sonic Blasts to take it down. So you need to have at least 30 seconds worth of time. To go through that castle gate. You can see we are level 75 there. We're not too high of a level. Uh, max level is 100 and um, I want to say 30. It's either 130 or 120. Um, so we're, we are way away from max level. We're like halfway there. So our stats are nothing compared to like the top ranking kings like HSMK. Uh, you know, I believe Mr. U has max level and Nico S has max level. So some of those kings have like double our stats. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. A lot of gargoyles in this base. He's using a mummy as well. Uh, mummies and ogres and werewolves, they, they tend to be really bad units for defense because they take up so many wave points. We got that Sonic Blast off right there, so we were able to kill the... And I actually summoned the Mummy at the wrong time. I should have waited until all the Gargoyles hit me and did damage. Because that Mummy just got wasted, and it was a, a horrible waste of my Mummy and morale points. So we are going to take out that Firebolt Tower right there. Come up a little bit. And now use this as a healing area. Here are his gargoyles again. So that means we're coming up to some more gargoyle waves. You can see they're coming over there. So we have to be very, very careful about that section. Going to bring out a cannon or so. We're going to come back here and use this as a healing area as well since it's cleaned out. going to pop our Sonic Blast right there because we saw the Gargoyles coming in for the kill. And right there we're going to have to heal scroll because those Gargoyles got us. We are going to be really, really close for time on this one. So we're, we're going to be able to get two Sonic Blasts off. Just not sure if that's going to be enough time. So we're going to sit up here and attack the gate as much as possible with our hero. Not really going anywhere else. Bring out more mummies to help us do a little bit of damage. And I don't think we're going to be able to beat the gate, so we're going to have to go and scroll and use Armageddon there.
the reason I didn't want to risk it is I didn't want to lose the trophies. Because if we fail, we're going to end up losing trophies, which is really detrimental to what, you, what we're trying to do here. And the fact that our Sonic Blast wouldn't be ready until around one or two seconds, it takes a three second duration to do all the damage. So it, even if I got it off that one second, it probably wouldn't have enough time to do enough damage to kill the Castle Gate. So I made a judgment call there. I did a Apocalypse Scroll or a Armageddon Scroll. Interesting setup here. Gargoyles and Frosters non-stop. 19 trophies, so we're going to go and try and take this one down. 232 medals as well. This is probably one of the most optimal gargoyle base design setup. As you can see here, everything is kind of connected. So the gargoyles, it's going to be a non-stop rain of gargoyles. We're going to give this a go and see how this works out. Uh, I believe this is a very, very tough base. Um, we might not get through it. We might die a couple times. Uh, just pre-warning you here. So you can see we popped our Sonic Blast right there, but we still took around 50% damage because not all of them died. Conversely, now we have a little bit of time to get some breathing air and like move forward. And the stun effect from the mummies helping out tremendously, allowing our Blaze Storm to kill them. So if we can keep our mummies alive, we might be able to do this. And we're going to come back here and try and kill some of those gargoyles. So I'm seeing he has like probably too many frosters in his waves. My ideal gargoyle setup that would, I think would probably be the best is just like one froster and nothing else for gargoyles. I haven't tried that out, but I think that would be very, very effective. So we're actually doing fairly well. Better than I expected. Almost died right there. I'm gonna sit back and let the hero recover some. Pop the sonic blast. Come run back and let the hero recover some. Unfortunately, he has the slow effect on him, so he's not gonna regenerate on his own. Now it's the home stretch of just attacking the gate, and we should have this one no problem. We have enough time to get our next Sonic Blast off to kill the Castle Gate here. And with five seconds left, we have enough power to take down the gates and gain 19 trophies, which is a big haul. 255 medals as well. So on the bright side, we are doing a ton of, of medal grabbing. So we're going to win first place in our, I believe, gold tournament. So we're going to get some gems out of this. So you can see we're 5,000 trophies or, or medals. We're almost halfway to the leader. Uh, no way we're going to get 11,000 medals, though. 
3648. We are rank 186 again. So we pretty much just got back to where we were with those failures we had. So here's Keith K. Let me take a look at my leaderboard favorite list and probably go through some of these guys' base. You can see giving a lot of medals, a lot of trophies. And he is actually online. Give this one a go here. 18 trophies. Interesting base composition. He has a slight gargles in there, but mainly our blasters. And there's his slight gargles. It's his first wave. Very easy to counter that. Use your sonic last. So Gargoyles in the first wave are not ideal whatsoever. You don't want to have gargoyles in your first wave. In your second wave, be more uh, more practical because by then people have used their spells already and they're probably on cooldown. So gargoyles in your second wave would be probably the ideal spot for them. sit back here and kill that. Make sure we heal our mummy up. Bring out another one. Come back there and kick some of those bombs back. The longer we can keep our mummies alive, the more effective attacking we're going to be. They divert a lot of the damage that the units, the wave troops do to you. They can also stun everything, which is just amazing. So very, very easy base to go through right here. So we can actually farm him three times because he's in our favorite lists. Unfortunately, we still missed a tower or two.
So I guess we actually weren't even in the favorites list. I guess we were just on the leaderboards. <laughs> So I forget what his name was. He should be around here somewhere because we gained trophies. Well, I know Kenneth K had a lot of trophies for us to steal. Let's see if he's offline now. He is currently online. So I'll have to remember to actually favorite the player again so I can go and attack them. Alright, we'll go ahead and favorite him. 25 trophies is a lot of trophies here. So if we can get this guy, we can take 75 trophies in three raids. But he's online. Team Trophy is not too bad. He has an interesting base. Uh, very, very spread out, so it's going to be hard to kill all his towers. We're going to have to use a lot more Pyromancers and Cannons. And unfortunately, he's online as well. There's 16. Two hundred and eighty-three medals as well, so a good amount of levels medals. And he's online as well. So I'm gonna go back to random. Not bad, 14 trophies. Staircase design is very, very effective for DPS, especially for our blasters. So there is a chance that we die here, a very good chance. We probably will just end up using a heal scroll. Pop the sonic glass right there to kill the initial gargoyle wave. Let the mummy take that next gargoyle wave. Well, we had no gargoyles there, but just pyromancers and such. The downside to the staircase design is that all his barricades are really really close together and his towers are also oh shit really really close together we're actually gonna run back and hopefully try and uh, protect our castle gate this time or I should say our tents So hopefully that doesn't screw us on time. If it does, we'll have to use an uh, Armageddon scroll at the end of the base. I don't think it will because it, the staircase design, everything is all clumped up together. So it's easy to run through. We're already pretty much through his base, it looks like. So we're through his base. It didn't screw us. So 
So if his towers were a lot more powerful uh, in that staircase design, he could have killed us there. But that's the downside. You, to make a staircase design effective, you have to have high level towers because you need the damage to do enough to kill the hero. If it doesn't kill the hero and they're able to out heal it with a heal spell or just uh, you know destroy your towers quick enough before you do enough damage, then the staircase design is really ineffective. Because as you can see, everything is bunched up together, so they die really quick. One spell will hit three towers, one spell will hit three or four barricades. It's just very, very easy to kill things. So 176. And our phone died. So that's going to be it for that episode.